Fellow musicians, welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most widely used progressions in all of gospel music, especially traditional gospel. Um, and it's a progression that I think every musician should know. So let's jump right in. Now, just so you know, I'm going to do a, a basic version of a, a beginner, and then an intermediate version, and then advanced. And we're going to add different elements to, at each level. So I have something for every single musician, no matter where you are. So let's jump right in. Here is the basic version, the beginner version. I'll do it again. And you, you hear this progression in music all the time. Uh, it's like, you know. Okay, so let's, let's really dig into it. This first chord of the walk-up uh, is uh, F minor 7 flat 5. And then we have G diminished 7, followed by A flat minor 6. And then that takes us to this E flat over B flat, or E flat in second inversion. Now, um, this is a progression. Just its purpose is to get you to this E flat major chord. Um, and generally, it's to get you to E flat over B flat, or the one over the five, or E flat in second inversion. However, you want to think of it, it's to get you to this landing place. Now, as we'll go further in, we'll, we'll adjust that definition. And so I'll tell you now, it's just to get you to E flat. So this whole progression is to get you to E flat, right? So again. Now I'm playing it really simple, so I have just one note in my left hand, and I'm, do, I'm using a four note chords in my right hand, so there's F minor 7 flat 5, there's G diminished 7, and then there we go. So I'll just tell you right now, a really quick tip, a lot of musicians at this level mistake this progression, and will just play it as an F minor, because you're not used to that flat fifth, so F minor here, and, and so you'll hear the progression play like... You hear it like that. And there are times when that is the right progression. Um, but. Or. Is. Oftentimes the proper way to play it. With the flat at five on an F. Okay. Now for those of you who've been with me for a while. You know one of the things I love doing. Is really digging in and figure out why something is happening. So what is this? Why does this work? Well, let's look at the chords. And you'll notice something with the first chord and the third chord. This F minor 7 flat 5. And this A flat minor 6. Did you notice something? They're the same chord. They're the exact same notes. Just inversions of each other. So... F, um, F minor 7 flat 5 and A flat minor 6 are the same notes. It's the same chord. Just what, what note you want to put on the bottom. And so for me, in my head, I see this as just one chord. And what do we do? We, we, we use the diminished passing chord to pass between this, these two versions of the same chord. Um, and, and, and diminished passing chords are very common in gospel music. So we have F minor 7 flat 5. Right, so this is A flat minor six, but I can think of it all as A flat minor six. And why does this work? Well, um, just as um, B flat seven wants to resolve to E flat, we're used to this sound. There's another chord from the opposite direction. So this is from the fifth side. If we think of the circle of fifths, um, you know, if, when you look at B, E flat, there's B flat and A flat on the other side of it. And so for the fifth side, B flat is going to take you to E flat. B flat seven will take you to E flat. On the opposite side, A flat minor six takes you to E flat. You have the, they, they both resolve to E flat. They have the same amount of pull, but they're coming from two different directions. Um, 
So oftentimes you hear musicians play this chord to take them to one instead of. So if you're at the beginner level, start here. And you, have, you might be saying, well, Corey, I want to do more with that. Well, let's try simply inverting our right hand. So instead of starting here, let's start on the high one. And let's, let's do it opposite. So I just inverted this chord. And so let's go down to G7 and do the first one. Remember, the first one and third one are the same chord, so we can switch them up. <laughs> right? Or let's invert the chords again. Let's start with the first one and go down. So all I'm doing is inverting. So what I mean by when I say inverting is here's this first chord. Let's take the A flat, put it on the bottom. I've inverted it down. Let's invert it again. Take the F and put it on the bottom. I've inverted it down. Put the E flat on the bottom. And so that's what I mean by inverting. So if I took the G diminished that we played and inverted it down, just the right hand. You see how I'm inverting it down? Okay. So let's, let's try it again, just inverting the right hand. Let's go down with the right hand. So our left hand has stayed the same, but our right hand, we're, we're moving all around. Let's do a, a, a higher inversion. Let's, let's start here with this one. Wow. And so just with one progression, all I'm doing is inverting the chords in my right hand and moving up in a direction. And listen, here's what I've done. I've created a um, sh um, sheet music guide that shows you these variations. Um, it's free. Um, just there's a, I'll put a link in the description box. Just let me click the link, put your email, name and email address, and download it. Now, let's jump to uh, the intermediate version. All right, so the first thing <laughs> I want to do on my intermediate is I want to start adding more notes to my left hand. So I'm going to do two notes in my left hand. And I generally like doing the root in the seventh or root in the third. Those are what, what are called shell voicings. So uh, let's do a progression again. Notice my left hand, for the first chord, I have F and E flat. That would be the root in the seventh of the chord. For this G diminished, I have the root, and that is the double flat of seven. So if you know anything about diminished chords, this is, it looks like the sixth of the chord, but it's actually the double flat of seven. So it's the root in seventh, basically. So here we go again. Or I'll go up. here I have the root and the sixth in this case this is the a flat minor six so I have the root and the six so again so in the left hand I have the root the root of the chord and then the third right here so my left hand goes together okay now let's talk about the right hand now all the voices in my right chords in my right hand will be the same except for this last one this E flat over B flat I love ad adding the ma major seven and also adding the nine sometimes just gives it you know Okay, so again, Ooh. now there are a few other things I'm doing in here and I want to talk about them, some little small things. All right, uh, now here's a simple thing that you can do to vastly improve your playing without changing your chords. So here's a pro tip for you. Instead of playing everything as block, 
meaning everything at the same time. Change. Let's play maybe the highest note voice first. And then maybe the lowest. Instead of going, I go. And I just dramatically walked up into that first note, the highest note. And that's a cool way to do it, and I love doing that. I love playing my outside voices first, then coming in with the inside voices later. That makes the chord feel like it's more than what it is. Okay. Now let me let me show you a different technique on the diminish. I'm gonna do a, a kind of a grace note in the middle. So, so instead of going straight to the diminish, I'm just these middle notes. I'm just kind of sliding off these, so I guess I'll play a third chord block, and then I'll do I'll do that outside voices thing again. Yeah. Uh. And so the first thing is just changing the way we voice the chord, the way we play the thing. Same notes, but we're just changing the way we play it a bit. Okay, now the second thing I want to talk about for my intermediate players is inversions. Now, we talked about in the beginning level inverting just the right hand, but now we're going to invert the left hand. So, all right, so let me do a quick inversion primer. All right, inversions are based on the root of the chord, the note that's on the bottom, not what's on the top. So, this chord is E flat. Now it's in first inversion. I didn't change my right hand, but you notice the note on the bottom changed. So now it's first version, second version, root. Right now if I just played it by itself, this is root, root, first version, second version. But as soon as I add the lowest note, now it's root position, why? And we're looking at the chord hol uh, holistically. All right. And so when we talk about inverting a chord, um, we can put either the root, the third, the fifth, or the seventh on the bottom. So let's see. Here's our first chord. These are the notes of it. So we, general, what we've been doing is putting the F on the bottom. For this diminished, we're putting G on the bottom. And then A flat minor, but six, we've been putting the A flat on the bottom. Let's, let's start on a different note. Let's start on the B. All right. And I generally like to move in stepwise motion. What does that mean? So I'm not jumping around, but just slowly walking either a half step or a whole step away uh, from where, where I am. So let's go to diminish. Where's the note near it? Here's one. Go to A flat minor 6. I'll put that on the bottom. And then E flat. I'll find the nearest. So now, see, we're not ending on E flat in second version, first version. So Interesting. How about we start on the, let's see. Let's start on the seventh. Let's try the. That's interesting. I like that. That's, that's, that's beautiful. So now, that alone changes how it sounds. So we started with. So now we have, uh, so yeah, we have uh, a different sound, a completely different sound. 
Now, if you want more information on inversions, I did a whole um, training on it that's on YouTube, and I'll put up up here, you'll see a little eye pop up, like a little card that you can click on and watch that video, because that video, I, I go in deep depth uh, about inversions. All right, now let's move on to the advanced musicians. So we have our chord, um, then you know, A flat minor six, or think of it as F minor seven flat five. Okay, and for the moment, let's think of it as F minor seven flat five, because I want to show you something. But the root, third, fifth, seventh, if we keep extending it, we have the ninth, eleventh, thirteenth. And so, uh, And so remember, this walk up was this this sound, the passing chord, get us right back to the same sound, to E flat. Um, and so sometimes I don't play, I don't play those three chords because to me they're they're the same chord with the passing chord in between. I just played. Uh. So uh, so instead of just playing simple. The four note chord, I'm, I'm playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, extending it, and then going to my target. So maybe I'll go to the right, or maybe I'll and then do our normal walk up. Yeah, so extending the chord, let, let's do it a different way. A lot of times I'll just play it. And you hear this a lot in gospel music. So, so instead of going like a And then to, to really take that to the next level, so if you look at my right hand, it looks like a B-flat minor chord. So I'll just proceed it by two half steps. And then add some grace notes in between. <laughs> right? Occasionally, you saw me on the E flat. Sometimes I won't play it just E flat major seven, or even E, e flat major nine. Sometimes I play it as E flat six. E flat major six. So you'll see that sometimes for me as well. So my left hand. So sometimes, I, so I have the root. I'm playing the eleventh there, the flat five, and the, and the seventh. Uh, and I could play the A flat here in my right hand since I have the B flat here in my um, A flat in my left hand, excuse me, since I have the B flat in my right hand. And then what I'm doing, just creating a little melodic phrase. All right, and so another advanced thing you can do is when we go to land on our target chord, instead of landing on E flat, now this is one of my, my, my favorite things to do, is to land on uh, a substitution of a substitution, if you will. Land a half step lower in the left hand, an A. We're gonna land on A minor seven flat five. Now why? Well, E flat major and C minor are cousins, and C minor and A minor 7 flat 5 are cousins. So it's kind of like the cousin of your cousin. And if you look at A minor 7 flat 5 and E flat, they share two notes, the E flat and G, which is why this kind of works. So. Now, well, I added some inner voice movement there, so I'll cover that. So, so my two inner voices, the E flat and the C, what I'm going to do is surround them. So on the left hand, I have A and E flat. This E flat, I'm surrounded. Go. And the C, I'm going to surround it. 
together. I add a little grace in there. So I played outside those first. Add a little. Uh. All right, one more time. So. All right, so thank y'all so much for checking out this video. I hope you found great value in it. You know, our motto and our heart is helping musicians improve. So take this and add it to your tool belt of tools to help you improve. So make sure you grab the sheet music, the supplemental sheet music, the where I, I take this progression through all 12 keys. So if you can read music, this will help you. Just a little cheat sheet for you uh, to use while you're practicing this idea. All right, so question for you. Do you use this progression? If so, let me know. Do you play it differently? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And while you're there, let me know of other videos you'd like to see me make because I just want to make the videos you want to see to help you improve and grow as a musician. Also, if you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers. That's a big milestone for us. We're hopeful to hit. And so um, that would greatly help us. All right, y'all, so until the next one, be blessed and happy practice.